Hi, my name is Liran Hemovich and I'm Rookout's CTO. Today I'll show you how to debug your live Lambda serverless functions using Rookout. Our IDE consists of four panels. The source viewer, where you load different sources. The file view, where you see your code. The rule editor, where you select and define how to collect and pipeline your data. And finally, the message view. We'll start by loading the Lambda project source code from GitHub. The sources are stored under the Rookout organization in the Lambda node example repository. This project is based off the AWS API Gateway example, the easiest way to build a serverless web API. To allow debugging in real time, we have simply added Rookout on top. Let's use a rule called dump frame to add a non-breaking breakpoint to the end of the function just before the callback is executed. When we refresh the browser, the lambda is invoked and our breakpoint is triggered. Here we can see the exact state of the application at the breakpoint. This is the context provided by AWS for the Lambda's execution, including the function's name and version, and the invocation ID. Here is the event that triggered our Lambda, including the HTTP request parameters. If we'll do a different request, the breakpoint will provide us with the appropriate data. Here are the local variable values. City is Tel Aviv and name is John. This time, the event object contains the query path and query string arguments provided to the Lambda by the API gateway. We can also execute the Lambda using the AWS management console. Here is a different event triggering the Lambda with the arguments supplied in the console. Rookout Production Debugging Note that at no point you need to modify or redeploy your Lambda. For more information, visit rookout.co.